Hi everyone, this is Amanda. Thank you for uh, tuning in today. I have um, for you today a mini book that I have made out of the December Planner Society kit. So if you're not familiar with the Planner Society, it's a monthly kit of planner stuff, scrapbooking items and things like that, that is shipped out on a monthly basis. It is a um, subscription based service. I believe it's like $29.95 or $26.95, something like that per month, and it's automatically charged. And basically what you get is, um, you know, a bunch of planner supplies, maybe some clips. Um, this month there was stencils. We've gotten um, pen cases, ink pens, all kinds of different stuff, and it's very much worth the money. So, and I think there, if you scroll through my videos, and if I remember, I'll put a link below to one of my other videos that's a Planner Society reveal kit, and you'll get an idea of what is available. But anyway, this isn't really a plug for the kit. This is um, what you can do with the kit outside of the planner community. So what I did is I made this mini um, photo album type scrapbook. And you can see this is the um, one of the papers that is included with the kit. There it came with various um, journaling cards and ephemera. And I backed some up and I put some um, pop dots. No, not pop dots. It is actually um, scotch double side foam tape, which I highly recommend. I used to use the foam dots all the time. And then um, I... I don't know how I heard about it, but the foam dots are, I mean, the foam strips, you can cut them to whatever size you want, and they are so much better than the um, pop-up dots, and I can put a link to that below as well um, if you're interested in that, because I go through adhesive a lot, so I always am looking for a really good deal. So this is the front cover. I punched the holes in this with my cinch. But I waited until everything is done and punching the holes is basically one of the very last things I do in a mini book. Only because if you add, intend to add and add and add stuff, it's better to just make one hole than to try to make multiples. So on this first page, um, I decorated with some of the washi tape that's included with the kit. This is a pocket created here and some more ephemera. And I just added some detail with the washi tape and another popped up ephemera piece. And this, what is, and this is like a photo mat. So you can attach a photo right here, or you can add additional photo mats and stick them in here or any kind of memorabilia. The next page over is these, the pages I made out of paper bags. Um, it's one of my favorite techniques to do. I love it. I think it adds a lot of unusualness to a book and something that people don't really expect. And, you know, I fold the paper bag over. I tape the ends, you know, the seams shut. And then I tape the bottom up and create a pocket. And I mat everything. This photo mat here, this is actually a card that was back the back of what in the planner society you get little um, packages of items and they always come on backed on a piece of cardboard and since it's decorated with the the to mimic the paper i went ahead and kept it and using it as a photo mat now one of the things i like about the paper bag um pages is that you can take you can um put things in the top like this is i created a photo mat that I can take in and out. And then I added one of the tabs from the Planner Society at the top. I think that I really like that. And what's good is I only have one in here, but you can put two or three or however many um, items you wanna put in here. Or if you want something other than photo mats, they also stick really well inside the top. And the way I did it is I put the tags at various levels so that they would stick up over the top of the book. So the back page, a uh, back side of this page, this first page, is um, I just created a photo mat with some banner tags here and some ephemera. This is a sticker from the kit, and I just backed it and popped it up with the foam tape. Anything is possible. 
So then we come to the next page and I put washi tape on the side because I think, you know, anytime I can add washi tape somewhere to add some difference, I like it. I have another journaling card here, um, another photo mat. And then again, on the back of these, you can add photos. You can add photos here. This is just a piece of ephemera that I pasted down. And then you have the other card here at the top. Um, and the back I did differently than the first page is I added two um, squares. Now you're thinking how, or photo mats, how can you um, put pictures on both? Will they be overlapping? But when I adhered it, I left this side without any adhesive. So you can slip the picture inside. Same with this, doesn't have any adhesive right here where you might have some pictures. It's popped up foam. And the same with the scissors and the thumbtack. It all has a pop-up, but no adhesive so that you can get in the pictures in there. And there's still lots of space in this book if as I'm going along and adding things, if I wanna add more words or um, stamping or something, I can do that as well. This next page is actually um, a paper bag from the kit. And this the kit had stickers in it and I took the stickers out and I cut off the top and you can see it's not the same size, but I like that. I like that it adds difference. Where this, where I took the, opened it up and there was a little tear here. So I made a banner and I covered it up with um, a, um, the banner and then a piece of ephemera backed on red. And then what I'm going to use this for is any kind of memorabilia or whatever I can put in there. And on the back, I added another um, photo mat because it adds stability to the page as well. Because the paper would have been really flimsy without it. And then I went ahead and added the washi tape and another popped up ephemera piece using the foam tape. The last, our, we got the cover, but then the last paper bag page is another one of the card photo mats, photo mat here, and a journaling card. I love the journaling cards that came with this kit this month. And then just a couple stationary items to add some decor decoration. And this one comes with um, another tag or another photo mat in the back. And it just pulls out nice and easy like that. And when you punch them, when you punch, use your cinch to punch, I take everything out, like all the pieces and parts. I don't want these to have holes in them. So I take everything out, punch it, and then put it back in. But everything that's going to lay on the page itself and stay there permanently, I make sure that's done before. Um, on the back of this paper bag, I have some ephemera here. And then I just made a waterfall type um, photo mats where I can put a photo on each of these and if I want if I have too many photos I can always put another photo mat back here and add another photo but it's not necessary and I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet so I didn't do that and then the back cover is another pocket that I made with the planner girl typewriter um, a journaling card the photo mat and everything's basically the same as what the front cover is and then the back is blank. Now I usually bling out my books, which I might decide to do afterwards, but I wanted to show you that there's so much that you can do with this kit that's not even planner related. So I made this entire kit, or I mean this entire book from the December Planner Society kit, and I still have, um, so much of the kit left. I have the pen, I have stencils, I have almost all the stickers, the divider tabs, the labels, um, the pen case. Um, there's a, there was, came with a planner, uh, like a little notebook, the post-it notes. There's just so much stuff that I didn't even have to use in this kit. And I made this entire book. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you um, find different ways you can use the kit from the Planner Society if you subscribe to it. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.